Hi, we're at Imdex Asia 2025 in Singapore. I am now on the German shipbuilder Fastmore Defense booth with René Quezada, the sales director at Fastmore Defense. They are unveiling this new OPV design at the show this year. René, good morning, great to see you again. Uh, good morning, Xavier. Nice to see you again. So what is this uh, new uh, OPV? Uh, this is a new development for a running project. It's a 95 meter OPV. That is an evolution of our existing 80, 86 meter series. So we are somehow collected the requirements from our customers and uh, it's a little bit increase in size because we need to carry a larger payload mainly for self-defense and also we have an increased speed. We have uh, more redundancy and more capa capabilities on non-lethal weapons also on board. So I would say it's an up-to-date version for the new threats that you can see around. Indeed, I mean, I see, uh, yeah, we see the sensor and weapon suite. Uh, not so usual for OPV type vessel, especially the Automelara 76 in a strawless configuration with the guided uh, ammunition. So this is an evolution of uh, uh, an OPV already in service for, with the German police, I believe. Yes, yes. This is, I will say, you know, we have our 80 meter series that we built for Chile. Uh, we built in Chile, Colombia, then for the German uh, Coast Guard, the Bundespolizei. And they already in the Bundespolizei, we have the Wofors uh, 57 millimeter. I, because we see this increasing uh, requirement to have a weapon that can provide flexibility. So they're looking at different uh, issues. Sometimes they need to have a deterrence capability for terrorism and stuff like that, but also self-defense for drones. So they are having smarter weapons, I will say, on board. It's not only the caliber anymore, so to have more flexibility with the ammunition and the weapon and what you can do. I see many containers uh, on board as well. Would you say the design is modular? Yeah, this uh, also as uh, in our previous OPVs. Yeah, we have uh, now modular mission containers forward, also close to the fly deck, but also inside. So we can cope here with about four to six containers also inside. So you can deploy other assets like ROVs or stuff like that. So yeah, we see this. Uh, I think right now, navies are also figuring out what they will need in the future. Yeah? And so these uh, mission modules allow them also to bring solutions later in the vessel. Yeah. And uh, what is uh, this uh, system running along the hull and uh, the bow? Uh, this is more like collision protection. We see in contested waters a lot of, uh, we'll say, physical challenges between ships. So this will allow also the vessel to yeah, to a little bit be better prepared for that type of events. And uh, lastly, René, what is the, so the current status? Uh, I believe you are currently producing uh, that uh, vessel for an undisclosed customer. Yes, we are producing, we have a contract for these ships. And uh, of course, they're not all exactly the same, but we have at least uh, one order from one running customer. Very well. Thank you very much, René. Thank you. Nice having you again here by us.